So let us start with Kapal Bhati. Keep your spine straight. Sit on a blanket. Make sure that you are sitting on a blanket or a block. So let us start when you are ready. Exhale. Completely exhale. Squeeze the abdomen. Chin to the chest. Squeeze the bottom muscles. Hold the breath. And relax. Be gentle with the practice and if you have contraindications such as high blood pressure or vertigo or hernia or heart problem, avoid this. If you have heart problem, avoid holding the breath. Relax the breath. And let us start when you are ready. Post exhalation. Inflation is passive and automatic so you don't have to specifically work on inflation. Relax. So now you may bend your right elbow. Push the right elbow with your left arm. Feel that stretch on the right side. <coughs> Stay there for five to ten breaths. Relax the breath. Develop awareness of conscious breathing. Develop conscious breathing. And let us start when you are ready.
relax. Take a few normal breaths. <clears throat> so now let's go to the other side. Bend your left elbow. Gently hold there. If you have any shoulder problems or neck issues, you may want to avoid this even. So do not force the body. Be gentle. And observe the Stretch on the left side. So once you are ready, let us go to the next round. And release. <laughs> so what we are doing? Through silence and kapalvati, we are bringing awareness, focus to the breath so that we can practice asana. Asana must be practiced with the breath awareness. So we are whitening the mind so that we can Practice asana properly. Relax the breath. Now bring both the palms to the shoulder blades, elbows facing the ceiling. Relax. And let us start when you are ready. Relax. <clears throat> Completely relax the breath. Now check the nostrils, close the right nostril, vigorously breathe through the left. And change.
and relax. Now you may lie down on the mat and relax for a few moments. Relax in Shavasana. Now inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Feel that straight, slight stretch in the lower back. Exhaling, arms back to the body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now bend your knees, keep the knees together, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the left. Knees to the left, turn the head to the right, side to side. Inhale when you come to the middle, exhale to one side. Inhale, exhale to the other side. Separate the feet by the width of the mat. Right knee to the left heel. Left knee to the right heel. Now bring the right knee to the left heel. Place the left heel on the right foot. Turn your head to the right horn. And change. Left knee to the right heel. Place the right heel on the left thigh. Turn your head to the left. Gently hold. And release. Now, once again, stretch the legs. Inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. This time, point your feet. Create a gap between lower spine and the mat. Stretch. Be gentle. And push the heels back. Create a stretch in the upper back. Push the heels back. And one more time. Point the feet. Just like in Tadasana. Stretch the body in both the directions. Upper body up, lower body down. Supta Tadasana. Lying down push. And push the heels back. And one last time, point the feet.
and push the heels back. And release. Relax the breath. So now you may shift over to your abdomen. Put your forehead down. Extend your arms forward. Practice their Krishnasana. Five seconds, inhale, ten exhale. As you inhale, notice how the abdomen is pushing the mat. And as you exhale, notice how the abdomen is going inside. And relax the body, no need to stretch. So all the vertebrae are aligning. You are giving the vertebrae a chance to relax, unwind. And any herniated disc issues, you get relief from that. And at the same time, you are developing breath awareness. Continuously observe the breath. Acknowledge each inhalation and exhalation. Now interlock your fingers, bring the palms behind the head. Notice that slight stretch in the lower back, just like when you practice Makarasana. And release. Now practice the Matsukredasana. And change. And come back. So now you may 
shift over to your right side and sit up. Once you sit up, sit back on the blanket. Let's practice shoulder rotations, neck rotations. <clears throat> Inhaling, bring the arms on either side. Stretch the arms, stretch the fingers. And as you hold here, notice how the arms are becoming heavier. And exhaling, bring the arms down. Inhale. Exhaling, arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling, bring the arms up. Pull the right arm with your left arm. Elongate the right side. And change. Pull your left arm using your right. And now practice the chest rotation. Inhale. Exhale. And reverse. And come back. Inhaling, bring the arms up. Interlock your fingers. Along at this point, stretch. Stretch a little bit more. Exhaling, bend to the right. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the others. And release. Now let's practice arm rotation. Raise the right arm, rotate. And reverse. And change. Rotate the left arm clockwise. And reverse. And release. Now rotate both the arms. Be gentle. Do what naturally comes to your body. And if you have any shoulder issues, avoid this. You are experiencing pain. And reverse. And release. Bring your shoulders up. In. Out. Down. Up. In. Out. Down. So now let's practice the shoulder rotations. Inhaling, bring the arms on either side. Exhaling, arms to the shoulders. Arms forward. Inhale, exhale. And bring the arms up. Inhale, exhale. And practice the rotation.
and reverse. And release. Now bring your shoulders up in, out, down. Practice the neck rotations. Inhaling, bring the chin up. Be gentle. Exhale. Continue this. Now turn the head from side to side. Inhale, exhale to one side. Inhale, exhale to the other side. So you can spend enough time here. For example, if you have any stiffness in the neck, you have to do this three times a day. So the more you move, the better it would be, but without any pain. Now drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Do not raise the shoulder. Inhale, exhale to the other side, side to side. And release. Now look over your right shoulder. Stay there for a few breaths. And change. Look over the left shoulder. And one more time, look over your right shoulder. This time, bring the left arm to the right knee. Practice spinal twist. Extend your right arm. Try to keep it at shoulder level if possible. And be gentle. And change. Look over the left shoulder. Bring the right arm to the left. Extend your left. And release. Now let's practice the side movement. Right ear to the right shoulder. Left ear to the left shoulder. And stay there on the right side. Extend your left arm. If possible, reach the floor and feel that connection between fingertips and the shoulder.
and feel that elongation on the side of the neck and feel that straight line, the prana moving from fingertips all the way to the side of the neck. and change. So what happens is when you hold for longer, you get relief, but if you hold too long, it may become pain. So apply your judgment, don't overdo it, but you have to stay there until the discomfort goes away. And at the same time, focusing on the breath. Visualize that you are inhaling and exhaling through the right arm. And really, see what happens when the body you keep the body still, the mind automatically quietens. So that is why Patanjali Maharshi said, Sthira Sukham Asanam. So during the transactional world, we are never still, always moving, talking. So this is the minimum time we have to spend to give the body and mind relief. and change. And release. Now bring the palms to the back of your neck. Bring chin to the chest. Gently hold there. Feel that elongation in the back of the neck. And if you have spondylitis, be very careful, gentle. Or any cervical disc issues, look up. One more time, chin to the chest. And look up. Now bring your right elbow down, very slightly. Left elbow down. So you're moving the each elbow down one at a time. And look up. And release. Now practice the neck rotation. Right ear to the right shoulder, all the way to the left. Left to right. So we are moving prana throughout the body. And at the same time working on the joints. And if you can, without any struggle, make a full circle. And reverse. And release. Bring the left arm all the way to the right. Turn the head to the left.
See, tomorrow I have to go out. So please note that we will start at 6 a.m. And we'll try to finish by 8, 8.30. I'll send you a message, but uh, please make a note of it. We'll start at 6 a.m. tomorrow. And change the other side. And release. Okay, so let's practice hand clenching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. And bring the arms forward. And bring the arms up. And release. And gently shake your arms. And release. Okay, so now take a little blanket. Bend the knees, drop the knees from side to side. And stretch the legs. Bend your toes. Point and flex, point and And keep the feet together. Practice ankle rotation. So you are spending enough time in the warming up so that we can practice advanced poses later. This ensures that you will not have injury in the practice. And hold the right. Practice half or Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And hold the right leg, swing from side to side. And this final twist. And change. Go to the other side. And 
and hold the left leg, swing from side to side. And this final twist. and release now place the left heel on the right foot bring the feet down on the left side turn your head to the right and change And release. Now press the palms on the floor. Raise your hips. And come back. Okay, so we'll go on to standing for this. Before that, let's practice some back bends. Come to our pose. Press the palms under the shoulders. Practice the cat and dog switch. Mark the Inhale. Exhale. So now stretch the right leg, raise the left arm, look up. Bring the left arm under the right elbow three times. And change. Be gentle with your wrist. Raise the right arm. Look up. Bring the right arm under the left elbow three times. And come back. Sit on the heels. Put your head down. Relax. Then come back to your abdomen and put your forehead down and practice Makarasana. Stay there for a couple of minutes. Be gentle with your neck.
As you hold the pose, bring your awareness to the lower back. Mentally, move the prana there. Bring the right heel to the right heel, left heel to the left heel. Both the heels to both the hips. And rotate the heels. And reverse. And release. Relax in Machakridas now. And change. Now let's practice Bhujangas. Palms under the shoulders, a very important asana. And it also gives you strength to develop upper body strength. Arms closer to the body, elbows stuck to the body. Relax the breath. Now use your core to raise, then press the arms, bend back. Exhale. Keep your elbows bent. Pelvis on the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Be gentle with your wrist. And still turn your head to the right. Turn the head to the left. Push back. And release. Relax on your cheek. And come back, sit on the heels, put your head down, relax. Now, inhaling, move the chin parallel to the ground. Raise into Urdhva Mukhaswanas. Upward down. Exhale. Stretch the back. Stretch the arms. Feel the stretch elongation in the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and inhale. This time, come to downward dog. Bring one heel down at a time. Right heel down, left heel. Be gentle with your ankles, especially if you are not practicing daily. Be very gentle. Now raise the right leg, stretch, half split. Come back, raise the left leg. Now 
and move the feet forward. Stand up. Get ready for standing poses. Rotate the hips. And reverse. And tap the body. And now practice the bound angle pose. Interlock your fingers. Raise your arms, engage the shoulder blades. And release. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the right. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the left. And release. Now practice the Tadasana. Keep a block between the thighs. You have to engage the thigh muscles. And rotate the thighs inwards. Keep the feet as close as you can and squeeze the block. Inhaling, bring the arms up. Interlock the fingers. Turn the palms up. Elongate the body. Push the feet completely down. So stretch the body in both the directions. Squeeze the block. Exhale and release. Now practice the Lagu Sarvangati. Bend to the right, align the shoulders, roll back to the other side. Keep going. And reverse. And release. Okay, so let us start this with Namaskar practice. And practice based on your capacity, do not strain if you need it, you can relax.
So now let's see the time. Okay, so we'll practice inversions and then we'll move on to pronouns. Lie down on your back and relax. Bend your knees, bring the knees into the chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Open the knees. Open, close. Open, 
clothes and rotate the knees and dips. And reverse. And release. <clears throat> Okay, so practice your shoulder stand or head stand or both. If you want to practice both, first practice head stand.
sit on the blanket or vajrasana for pranayams That are equal 100% connected to Bounty Gumbel Guide if you're. Tonight you can sit on the blanket or in Vajrasana. Take a little rest, relax the breath. We'll start with. Dirgishwasam practice. Use Vijay breath or silent breath. Whichever. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Three part breathing. Lower abdomen, ribcage, chest, and beyond. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Six and four. Six seconds inhale, follow exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. No seven and forty. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. So while exhaling, do not force the breath too much. The exhalation should be gradual so that you can exhale for longer time. See, the deep breathing, deep inhalation and deep exhalation activates the vagus nerve, which controls many functions. That's why in the long run, you will get a lot of benefit, including controlled blood pressure and so on. But you have to be consistent. 8 and 16. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax the breath, take a few normal breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Then nine and eighteen. Take a few normal breaths. Relax. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. <clears throat> 10 and 20. Only if you can. Otherwise, stick to the ratio you are comfortable with. Do not strain. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. So as you exhale longer, notice how the inflation is becoming deeper. And now let's practice Antar Kumbhaka. Once again, sit on the blanket or in Padmasana if you like. Only if you can. Do not hurt your knees. You are not ready. So come to Vishnu Mudra. Bend your index finger and middle finger. Hmm? Make a, um, keep the thumb on the right nostril. Always start with the left nostril. Five, five, ten. Holding only after inhalation. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Start exhaling through left. Breathe in. Left. Hold. Apply two locks. Breathe out. Left. Sorry, right. Breathe in. Right. Hold. Breathe out. Left. Well done. Relax. 
So the breath should be extremely silent. There should not be any sound whatsoever. Then visualization. Visualize the triangle. You are inhaling and focusing. Keep your prana. Bring your prana to the Agna Chakra. Hold. Exhale. Once again, inhale. Exhale. So round trip. Focusing, keeping the awareness focused between the eyebrows. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold on. Relax. So, once again, make sure your breath is silent. So, when your breath is silent, you are, it's an indication of deep breathing. If you are making noise, that means the breath is shallow. Third round, one more round of Antar Kumbhaka, three pranayam practice. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Start exhaling through left. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. <clears throat> now, three rounds of Bhakti Kumbhaka. That means we are developing tolerance to be without breath for a few seconds. After exhaling, your abdomen is empty, so you can apply three locks. Chin to the chest, pull the abdomen, pull the bottom muscles. But locks are optional, do not strain. If you cannot apply locks, uh, you don't have it. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Start exhaling through left so that the inflation becomes deeper. Breathe in. Left. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Third up. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. So now we are going to combine these two. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. And some people may not be able to practice this if you have asthma or other conditions. So then you may want to avoid this and stick to the Vishwasam. In other words, if you cannot hold the breath, don't hold it. Practice without holding the breath. Okay, be gentle. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Sorry, I think we had 10 seconds. I don't want you to hold 10 seconds. So we'll start again. So I hope. So we'll practice only five seconds, but we'll practice more rounds. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, 
Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Observe the sensation in the board. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Keep complete awareness on the breath. Do not let the mind wander. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Well done. Okay, we'll stop here and practice Brahmari so that we'll have time for short meditation towards the end. Hmm. 
Massage the facial muscles. Massage the ears and the chin. Okay, so let's practice yoga nidra and then a short meditation and we'll come to. So now, but tomorrow the practice will be at around six o'clock. So yoga nidra is a practice of relaxation that takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you are not actually sleeping, you are between waking and sleeping. So probably a dreamy state. And then if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, uh, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So keeping the palms facing the ceiling, natural curve of the fingers, make sure your eyes are closed. Allow the feet to fall to the sides and then begin to feel the body as it lies on the floor. Feel the meeting points of the body and the floor under the shoulders, under the elbows, wherever they touch the floor, under the palms, under the hips, under the knees, and under the heels, and also under the head. Now, feel all those meeting points once again, and see how your body is sinking into the floor more and more nicely. As the body sinks into the floor, you are also feeling the heaviness of the body increasing. Now bring your attention to the chest area. From the chest, as you close your eyes, feel the space from the chest to the ceiling. Just feel it, create a feeling of the space. Now, from the right side of your body, feel the space to the wall on the right. Now do the same with your left side, from the left side of the body to the wall on the left. Now bring your attention to the top of the head and feel the space from that spot to the wall behind and beyond your head. 
Now feel the space from the soles of your feet to the wall in front of the feet. Now feel the space once more under the body. How the body is grounded to the floor and your body is absolutely still and comfortably still. The word comfort is important in relaxation. If you're comfortable, you can continue. If you're not comfortable, you have to move until you are comfortable. So any change in position you can do now, but try not to keep moving. Try to be still. Only in stillness, you get a deep relaxation. Now bring your attention to each part of the body by bringing the consciousness to the right hand thumb. Your mind is moving to the thumb, the thumb is not moving. You're bringing awareness to the thumb. Second finger, it goes very quickly now. Second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger, and the fifth finger, the front of the palm, back of the palm, and the elbow, the right shoulder, and the waist, the right hip, the right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the right big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your right arm and the whole of your right leg, the whole of your right side and feel it is becoming heavier. And with that heaviness, you're also relaxing even more. Do the same with your left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, front of the palm, back of the palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your left side once again, making sure it is heavier and also relaxing. Now attention on both arms and both legs. Both arms and both legs heavier than before. And as a result, you're also feeling a deeper relaxation. Bring your attention now to your lower back, middle back and upper back. And begin to soften the entire spine with your thoughts. Bring your attention to the back of the neck and soften the back of the neck. Continue with the back of the head also relaxing and the top of the head. Now come to the top of the head. Feel a sensation there. Feel the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a very important center of energy. It's called the eye of Shiva, the third eye of Shiva. Continue down to the eyes, the right eye, the left eye, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril and the right cheek, the left cheek. So your mind is moving to all these parts quickly. 
Now feel the upper lip and the lower lip. And also the chin, front of the neck, chest, abdomen, internal organs. Feel the internal organs also. Now begin to scan your body from the head to the toes. Develop in a homogeneous awareness of the whole body. Become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. At the same time, become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting points between the back of your head and the floor, shoulder blades and the floor, elbows and the floor, back of the hands and the floor, buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Do not sleep. Switch your attention now to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the sharp points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. Now, the lips. Center your attention on the line between the lips. The space between the lips. From the lips, we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of the respiration navel to throat, throat to navel. Do not try to force the breath. Just bring awareness to the breath. Now maintaining your awareness, start counting your breaths beginning from number 10, first exhalation number 10. Second exhalation, number nine, continue until one. Now you may stop counting. So let's come back to the body. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness in every single part of the body. You're, fe you're feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Awareness of heaviness, awareness of heaviness.
Now, let us reverse the whole scene. Awaken the feeling of lightness, the weightlessness. Feel completely weightless in your body, in all parts of the body. Your body feels like a piece of cotton, so very weightless. Awareness of lightness. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat in the body. The whole body, you feel it is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat when you're out in the sun with no shade. Heat all over the body. Awareness of heat. Now once again change and feel the experience of cold. Awaken the experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you're walking on a cold floor in winter. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over. Awareness of coldness. Completely cold. Bitter cold. Now bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. The dark space that you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore it a little, you can shift your gaze to the forehead. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifest, for example, colors or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts begin to happen, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space in the forehead. Continue this with detached awareness. Very slowly now become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing. Become aware of your relaxation. Feel your normal breath. 
gradually develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Once again, gradually develop awareness of the room. Without opening the eyes, feel the colors of the walls, the ceiling, and then open your ears to any noises in the room and the noises outside. Externalize your mind, take your mind out at this point, but do not open your eyes until I tell you. Become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments. Keep your eyes closed. Gradually when you are sure that you are wide awake, take a deep breath, inhale, and a long exhale. And after that, begin to bend your legs, shift over to the right side, and then bundle up into the child's pose. Become cozy, casual, and comfortable. You may gently press your left palm and sit up. Once you sit up, you may rub your palms, apply the warmth to your eyes. Let us practice a short meditation.
रुद्र
May I sit for a, quite, for a few moments in this quietness? We will conclude with the home chanting. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashitu Kabad Bhave Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mrutangamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashikyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Hari Om Thank you all, Jai Shri Narayana. See you tomorrow. Jai Shri Narayana, thank you, Balaji Guru. Thank you. Thank you, Balaji Guru. Thank you, Ani. Jai Shri Narayana, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Balaji, sir. Thank you, Jai Thank you.